All right, uh, this is part two uh, of a series of videos where we're showing how to solve exponential equations. And part one, we say uh, if uh, our equation has got two terms, we we'll simply take logs on both sides. We want to extend this uh, slightly here by saying uh, even if the equation is such that it can be reduced to two terms, the equations that uh, are uh, not uh, like two terms uh, at face value, but uh, you can reduce them to two terms. So in part one, we solved uh, these uh, equations here. Uh, we are going to start with E um, for this one. Now, as you can see in E, uh, this looks like three terms. It is three terms. So first term, second term, and then third term. But uh, we're going to show that this can be reduced to uh, two terms. So let's uh, get on with it. So that's uh, part E. We have got uh, three to the power x plus one plus three to the power x minus two is equal to 78. Now three to the power x plus one we can write as three to the power x times 3 to the power 1 and then 3 to the power x minus 2 we can write as 3 to the power x times 3 to the power minus 2 and then now um, you can see that 3 to the power x is a common factor here so if we uh, take that out then inside the brackets we're going to have uh, 3 plus 3 to the power minus 2 is the same as 1 over 3 squared. <laughs> so this is the same as 3 to the power x into 3 plus 1 over 9. Um, so 3 plus 1 over 9 is the same as 27 plus 1 which is 28 and then over 9. Um, so this is now a two-term equation um, as you can see uh, and then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, term straight to the um, right hand side it's going to be 78 times 9 over 28 that is 3 to the power x so uh, 78 times 9 702 so this is 702 over 28 uh, so there's a common factor of 2 uh, what's 702 over 2 so 2 goes to 7 uh, 3 times to 10 it's going to be 351 over 14 then if we take uh, logs on both sides so log 3 to the power x is log of 351 divided by 14 and then x log 3 log 351 divided by 14 so x is log 351 over 14 divided by log 3 and then we can punch that in the calculator. So log three five one divided by fourteen uh, divided by log three. So that's going to be two point nine three is our solution. Alright, so that was example number E. We're now going to go to example number F. 
7 to the power 3 minus x uh, 7 to the power 3 minus x equal to e uh, to the power of 2x minus 5 uh, 2x minus 5 uh, now, since one of the bases here is E, so this equation has got two terms, but it's different from the equations we've been seeing in that X is appearing twice. Uh, so we have got X here, and we have got X there. But since we've got two terms, the guideline still remains the same. We're just going to have to take logs on both sides. Uh, since E is one of the bases uh, for this one, we are going to take lean on both sides. Of course, if you take common log, you are still going to get the same correct solution. Okay, so lean here, E to the power 2x minus 5. Then, uh, bringing down the powers on both sides, this side we're going to have 3 minus x, lin 7. This side we're going to have 2x minus 5, lin e. Now, uh, here is the reason why we proposed taking lin, because e is one of the bases. The reason is because lin e is equals to 1. Uh, this is why lin e is equals to 1. So we've got lin e here. Remember that lin is log base e. So this is basically log e base e, which is equal to 1. So that means this bit here is equal to 1. So the right hand side is just 2x minus 5. On the left hand side, we are going to remove the brackets. So we're going to have 3 lean 7 minus x lean 7. Then on the right hand side, we've got 2x minus 5. And then what we need to do is to bring all the x terms to one side and all the uh, constants to the other side. I'm going to bring all the x terms to the right hand side. So I'm going to have 2x here plus x lean 7. Um, lean 7. Then taking the 5 to the left hand side is going to give us plus 5 here and then on the right hand side if we factorize x it's going to be 2 plus lin 7 3 lin 7 plus 5 and then from here it means x is 3 lin 7 plus 5 all divided by 2 plus lean 7 and then of course we can punch this in the calculator so we're going to have uh, say open brackets uh, 3 lean 7 uh, plus 5 uh, then this is all divided by so again, open bracket 2 plus lin 7. And uh, this gives us 2.75. So 2.75 there. All right. Um, at this point, we're going to give you a chance to have a go at these others here. There is four of them. Um, you can pause the video and then just work through them. When you continue the video, then you can compare with our solutions. 
All right, um, now we're going to scroll down to our solutions for uh, G, H, I, and J. Uh, we would like to thank you for visiting our channel. Uh, if you have watched up to this point, probably uh, you are getting some help from our videos. Uh, we do, uh, of course, uh, encourage you uh, to press the subscribe button and support our channel. If you've got any questions or comments, uh, just post them in the comment section. Right, so uh, let's go straight to H then. So H uh, looks like uh, an equation of three terms, but we can reduce this to two terms because these two are like terms. I bring the 50 to this side, we're going to have uh, uh, 291. And then after that, we take uh, lean on both sides. Uh, the exponent uh, drops down. We'll bring link 2 to this side, and so x is going to be given by this, which has got a numerical value of 3.06. In h, again, we've got an equation where x appears twice, but we've got two terms. So we just take lean on both sides. Uh, the exponents drop down here. Uh, lean e is 1, by the way, we remove brackets here. And then uh, there is x and x here. We bring the x term to the left hand side. And uh, after that, we factor out x. And so that's going to be the value of x. This one has got three terms. So we just work with uh, the terms involving x write them like this then we can see that uh, 2 to the power of x is common so we factor that out and then this simplifies to 7 on 2 and so we can write this as two terms like that we take lean we solve it gives us this for the last one uh, it looks similar to the previous one so we'll write uh, like this. However, um, here, looking at this, uh, there is no obvious um, common factor because this power of x is part negative x. In fact, you can write this like this, and this is the reciprocal of it. So this one uh, cannot be expressed uh, in... Uh, uh, as two terms cannot be reduced uh, to uh, two terms uh, using the approach or the methods that we've been doing. Um, so there is an approach though that we can do uh, which uh, involves quadratic equations which we are going to uh, see in part three so um in part three we're going to start with this problem thank you